All right, folks, welcome back here at Westland Stadium for the 2013 Civil War. Oregon State and Oregon lining up for the pregame handshake. And we've got the starting lineups here for you. At attack for Oregon, you're going to have Matt Johnson, Benton Sowers, Michael Weller. And on the midfield, Taylor White, faceoff man Trey Norris, Evan Merritt on the wing. And on defense, Austin Ryan, former goalie for the Ducks. Side on the side with Shane O'Rourke and Ben Smoot, senior leader. And in goal, as we mentioned earlier, Stephen Oppenheimer is out. Sophomore goalie Austin Lewis is in for the Ducks. And for the Beavers at attack, Adrian McCallalad will be there uh, alongside Ryan Squires and Ben Dill, the other two big performers for them in the midfield. Uh, Beavers are going to be coming out with Reed Oliver, Michael Carpenter, and Ryan Heron. And then on the back line for the defense, it's going to be uh, number 14, Hayden McGillen. Uh, Riley Stevens, Roy Jarman, and the other big key to the game, you know, the, the backstop, Nick Widmere for the Beavers. And we're underway. First faceoff is going to go to the Beavers. It looks like Heron comes up and quickly gets the ball off to Reed Oliver. Oliver's going to move it down the right sideline, get the ball at X, where he's matched up with, that looks like, uh, number 40. He directs behind the cage, looks back up front where we got the shot. Face dodge. Comes back to his right through traffic and fights through to get that shot off. Nice job by the senior faceoff, Mitty Trey Norris. Yeah, just Not a great individual Norris. effort there, John. Just, just you know, to get the face dodge on the defender coming out too fast and get in tight and, and you know, bury that one home. It's going to take that kind of effort today, Chris, because not only are we missing Oppenheimer, remember talking to the Ducks earlier, they're only dressing 19 players today, and they usually draw they usually dress well over 20 and on road trips have quite a crew. So the number two score for the Ducks. So the Beavers quickly on to the offensive possession. McCall lad gets past his defenseman there, Austin Ryan on a little bit of a stutter step and does a great job getting to the cage, comes to the sideline, a little pose for the fans. So just a nice individual effort. Caught Austin a little bit flat-footed, able to recognize that. Quick stutter step to his left. You can see on the replay here. Beeves on a nice break here. Just a quick little stutter step. That's all he needs to get by. Ryan left to try and go for that trail check, but McCallad does a real nice job of protecting that stick and not giving him an opportunity for the trail check. So over midfield is Merritt. Turning on the Jets, gets free. He's created an odd man situation and just does it all on his own. You're going to let him get 10 yards in without being met. He winds up for his second goal of the afternoon. And his signature hand spin. Chris, we got the replay here of this effort. Yeah. Oliver was beat, didn't even get a chance at the trail check. And that slide, that, that slide didn't come. Stopped halfway, so if you're going to go, you got to go. If you stop halfway, you're not covering anybody. Face off one again, down by Rotenberg, and comes up with the loose ball after he's pushed down. He comes up with it, pushing the issue. Oh, what a nice job of taking advantage of that screen. Another shot that Widmer did not get eyes on. That shot just came around the defenseman's waist. Widmer had no chance of eyeballing that one. Great effort there by Norris, we saw him get knocked down, then comes up with the ball. So the senior out of Central Catholic in Vancouver, Washington, you can see here, he's just going to put this between and around a couple bodies. There's two defensemen in front of Widmer. No chance that he even saw that shot coming, unfortunately. So that's going to extend it to a five-goal lead here for the, the Ducks, Chris, with 9.08 in the third. The Beavers are going to need to start keeping this close, or this one might run away from them what could really be a nail in the coffin at this end. Although 11 minutes, still plenty of time, but a 10 goal deficit would be daunting. So perceive it. Down to GLE, up to the top, Merritt gonna rip it. And Merritt, just everything he's shooting today is finding gold. Gold number five on the day for Evan Merritt. Beavs are going to need to start sending somebody at that guy and shutting him off because he is doing some damage today. Real quick on the replay, you can see here just 
A little too far to the left. The defenseman didn't have time to get across on that slide. Left Merritt with room to wind up and find a corner. And loose ball picked up by Watkins. Big shot there by Rotenberg. Got to get a birthday goal, don't you? Got to score one on your birthday. So there's Rotenberg breaking the 20 plus minute drought for the Beavers. So take a look at this replay. Looks like Rotenberg got that good shot of his wound up, fakes it, gets his hands free, steps around the defenseman, and on the run, just puts a nice shot off, off the hip of Lewis. And honestly, it had been a while since Lewis saw a shot. Might have been a little flat-footed. So here we've got a timeout. And we are going to join the teams taking a break here. You're enjoying the MCLA on LAX TV. Well, I love lacrosse. That's why you should keep it here on LAX TV. Check out our new show called Bull Dodge. And check us out on Twitter, at Bull underscore Dodge. See you over there. Hi, I'm Dave Sanford, head coach of Portland State University. You're watching LAX TV. Hi, I'm Bill Harkins, and I'm the head men's lacrosse coach at Florida State University, and you're watching this game on LAX TV. Perfect. Harris makes two, three moves, scores! Here come the Ducks. San Jose finds the back of the net. Bryant inside to Yealy. This is going to be a goal for Yealy. Bojano into the middle to cross. Bounce. Score! Sean Beer sends it up top. Left-handed shot by Vasilovsky. 